Hello everybody, my name is the ZA1243 School and welcome to a tutorial on how to install mods for Subnautica. Which, you know, isn't the hardest thing to do, but someone that's new to, uh, you know, uh, you know, modding and want to know how to. The links to both of these will be in the description. Surprise. And what I'm going to we, what I'm gonna do is go to this page, like I said, the links are gonna be in the description. There's QMod Manager and modding. Uh, well, it's just loaded up. Okay, that's a weird ad, but okay. Uh, it's just a modding helper. And what you wanna do is click on this thing that says Manual. This will pop up. It's gonna, since I'm using Google. Chrome, it's just gonna pop up at this uh, bottom left. And I'm gonna do, well, I can actually close that tab. And then uh, download manual, same as was before. If a file is too big, I'll have you uh, make a, an account. So, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, either find it, it's probably gonna be in your download folder, or if you're using Google Chrome, or I believe Firefox is your browser, it might be on the top, uh, I mean on the bottom, like it is for me. So what we do is click this little up arrow, open this for the modding help, so I'm just gonna minimize that. You know, for QMod setup, I know it's safe, I've used it before. I'm just gonna click on this, it's gonna open up. It's gonna take a sec. This part where it shows up a little notification like, are you sure you want to make, let this program make changes, it's gonna go black for, I don't know why. But it's gonna be like, do you want this to make changes to your device? Click yes, QMod setup. I know you couldn't see it, but still, and this window will open. Welcome to the QMod setup wizard. To install blah 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 you get it next make sure this is right it should be but in case it's not it should be on your c stick program files times 86 steam steam apps common subnautica next and it's just gonna say that if it was wrong you could click on back install now this is gonna be a qmod and this is gonna pop up it's Fine. And if it wasn't safe, why would I be a showing you? And it's gonna say it's finished, so finish. Click on this. It's gonna extract all. And what you can do instead of just uh, clicking that is browse. And then, yeah, just. I'm gonna basically show you how to get to Sonatica. Go to. Uh, or Steam, I already lost it. Steam. Steam apps. Common. And find the game, which is Subnautica in this case. QMods. Select folder. Extract. Now it's there. So if you want to. I probably should have actually selected a mod, so I'm just gonna go find a random mod. Uh, did not think this one through. It's gonna open a new tab. Nexus mods.com slash Subnautica. It's gonna close that. Save for uh, upgraded vehicles. I might make a video on it in the future. Maybe tomorrow. M maybe a couple days from now. It's basically where you don't need to, uh, uh, it's just faster vehicles and, uh, I believe you can, uh, yeah, yeah, I believe, uh, it's faster and you can get speed boost items and a vehicle power core as component makes these new vehicles that potent, the upgrades. 
that go into the power core become permanent enchantments to the new vehicles that are always present no matter what. And you don't need a pressure compensator, so, and they're faster, so you can click on manual. If it's too big, it might uh, make you a, make you have make an account. It's gonna show up here. Open. So basically, you do extract all. Browse. Since it was the last place you extracted a file, it's gonna automatically be here. So select folder. Oh, tranny, that's what that sound is. Cool. Extract. Bink. It's done. So, if you have found this video helpful, uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below if this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah.